Uh, you go ogre pun. I'm just gonna go for the cut Joe. And it crits. And it's gonna go like, oh, cool. this is on the first one. <laughs> I just knew it. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? RGV here. And we're back with another video. Back with more of the OU heat. Back with the request. Back with the mons that you thought you would never see working on you. Working on you. I guess this one is not in theory as bad as the Omega. Um but we definitely don't see um base grass ogre pond that much in OU. Of course it's basically outpowered and outclassed by every other uh ogre pond out there. Water definitely even rocks is probably better. Um but we have a really cool tag here and of course as i mentioned before this was a request and this request was done by vallejo 790 so shout out to him for the request i'm gonna say it out loud this was the actual month that i was trying to do even before again mega but i just wouldn't would not be able to find it i tried the weakness policy behind screens but that did not work out for me um but now now because bro like this thing will create and hit so so weakly, but now, now, I found I found the formula. I found the formula, so um, we're able to have a nice cold team here. Uh, in this one, Ogre Panda's put in a lot more work than in the previous team I had, and again we have an HO. We have uh, our very real. Um, uh, I'm gonna say this. Um, the good old the sticky webs that helps us and helps this month thrive a lot here in OU. So yeah, that's gonna be uh, the request for today. Before more ado, let's get into the team composition. First off, we're gonna have the Ogre Pond Grass with the Racer Claw, Focus Energy, Ivy Kajo, Super Power, and Play Rough. What we do here, I was using as I said weakness policy, but Super Power still takes away the boost. So here. After focus energy, we can just click super power and it doesn't matter if our attack decreases because we always hit. Um, we're going to have the play rough and the Ivy Kajo so we can hit dragon types and Ivy Kajo, of course, that's the move it needs to have. Um, we're also going to have a booster energy task with the steel terror this time around, headlong rush, eye spinner, knockoff and rapid spin. I'm going to have the muff here with the fiery dance, the sludge wave, the dancing gleam and the substitute. Um, I'm gonna have the rebombi with the stick whip moonblast skill swap and psychic noise this I might Go for stun spore Even though we don't hit stuff like glimora um, And some other stuff Getting stun spore is usually nicer on stuff like for example Volcarona, Twilvoda Swip or even Cinderace I'm gonna have then the Goldengo this time around. I'm not gonna use recover. We're gonna go for Nasty Plot, Shadow Ball, Make It Rain and Side Shock as um i was facing a lot of a lot of um stall and this is said just destroy stall last but not least we're gonna have a walking wake with the agility surf dragon pose and substitute here with a steel terror this time around so that we can uh, abuse those slow kings getting in our way if you enjoyed the team composition if you enjoyed the hit just like this make sure to subscribe if you haven't already i upload frequently um if you want to make your own request from one you want to see featured with a cool tech just like this one make sure to leave it in the comments down below and without more ado let's get into the team battles so yeah yeah we have the critic kajo here once we get the focus energy um we can secure all the crits but even without it i kajo does create a lot of the times so it's still great it's still great to have i'm gonna lead ribambi here I don't mind, even if they go Goldengo. This is going to tell us if this is Scarf, which it is. So that's uh, great to know. And with that, I'm actually going to um, make use of this and go into Walking Wakes. Now I'm going to sub here. As it goes, Summer H. We're going to go for the Dragon Pulse. I think he probably goes later into Dragonite. Um, that's, that's Walking Wakes. Oh, this is AV. 100% AV. And this is Sucker Punch. Yep. Okay, I don't mind that. Uh, we go Tusk. And I'm going to go for the Headlong Rush as he dies. 
here, nice, nice to this. Um, brings in the Dragonite. I'm gonna go for the good old Ice Pinner. Yes, he could. Okay, he goes for the disconnect. That's a a pretty high tech. If you know, if you don't know it, in which um, that's gonna allow us to win. However, we're not gonna be able to pull off the work with with uh, Ogre Pun. And if we get the knight out and we okay, that's nice damage goes for the ice spinner himself. I'm gonna go Goldengo on the E speed or actually. Okay, I was gonna say that was a bad play. That was a fantastic play. Uh, we get the crit, which is also fantastic. Goldengo doing doing its own thing. Um, and let's see here. I think at this point, um, okay, I'll go for Ogre Pond. Yep, they go for the forfeit as they have nothing for Muff anymore. Um, Muff just runs through this team at this point that that um av cut me off guard cut me off guard for real let's see uh, um, uh, okay that's good that's a nice start they fled as soon as ogre Pond hit the stage they knew what was coming they knew they could not handle the cut joe so they left which is smart by them it's smart by them no one wants to get cut joe. do you see that hammer Look at that hammer that that would get that it has spikes on it that has to hurt let's see um once again we get a potential samurai lead and i'm gonna lead rebound this time around as well um no reason not to we go for the sticky webs as it goes for the discharge i'm gonna go for the moon blast Get the damage in. Um, I mean, I potentially go. I'm gonna go moth here, and I'm going to straight up go for the sludge wave. Even if he goes samurai, yep, that kills. Um, they go for the samurai age. I mean, I guess I could potentially save this, but I don't think we need to. So I'll just go for the dancing gleam. some nice damage probably going to aqua jet here yeah soccer punch okay okay i see you i see you uh, i'm gonna have to go for the wigs here i'm gonna go straight for the dragon pose as he probably goes for CSS edge i would say actually goes for the soccer punch if i had gone for the sub i guess it would have only been a 15 percent difference as the soccer punch would have destroyed my um my um my sub but i guess that would have been smarter in the very potential case that um uh, that this is going to tear you know and um and it goes for the rapid spin so this might be av itself oh no wait that's heavy duty but i need this already i'm, I'm stupid uh Let's see. I say he goes Gaudian Fire here. Cause that seems like the best play. Which is also um also that. That means we're gonna go Tusk here. Uh, uh oh. If he has fur blitz, that might be bad. I just had a long rush here. I might have thrown with that change might have thrown oh not the ball work oh he can't he can't move it let's see and the fly bro what is this uh i mean i guess the other move has to be um does he go for burning Oh, that goes for privilege. Okay, that that's game. That burn DD burning bulwark flying Terra. Okay, I was not expecting that one. I was definitely not expecting that one. 
Let's see, we go up against... I don't even know. Is is this Roaring Moonstar? Am, am I up against Roaring Moonstar right now? Um... That's weird. I'm gonna go rip on me here. Oh... Uh, go for the sticky webs. I'll skill swap. And I'll stun sport. And then I'll go for Tusk. As I knock off this Karmory out. And then continue to proceed to Rapid Spin a bit. And I'll go for the Moth. I'll Fairy Dance. And I'll go for Tusk again. We Rapid Spin again. This time it does heal itself. Um... I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna go for a nasty plot. Uh, I guess I'm nasty again. And I mean, why not again? And I just side shock this thing so that he knows he's dead. If Roaring Moon, I guess it would be boots if you're running this in some sort of uh, stall. But um, I guess I'll just make it rain here. As he knockoff, and I think this is the game. And this is the reason that I brought uh, this Gold Dangon specific. Now we're gonna make it rain here. I'm guessing this is heavy duty boots, and um, I mean that that did a lot of damage. Are you really heavy duty boots? I guess I side shock here. Oh, okay, okay. Bumpy dies, I'll task so that I can spin this out. And I'll go Ogre Pawn. And I'll go for this. I'll click Super Part just to see how much this does. Okay, that does nothing. And I end up doing more damage to myself. Oh, uh, Fiery Dance. Not the Gliss Core. I will sub on the protects. Oof. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think this, I'll call this game right here. Let's see. The Fable, I mean, you definitely don't survive this. And even less with that crit. Um, yeah, I'll just slash with again. I was gonna slash with it until he get get burnt, and uh, oh, oh, no, the crit. Oh no, I got created, so I lost because I get created. What is it gonna do? I mean, I just have to go back to uh, enough. Uh, let's see, and we go against the star again, <laughs> again. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Um. I'll go for um I guess we'll go for walking wakes. And I'll just sub and surf into Blizzim. And I think I fought this guy the other the, the Star with yeah, I fought this guy before. Fun is I might lose this, so it will seem like I'm shit talking, but Bro, this guy was fuming because I did not 6-0 him with Goldengo. Like, because Goldengo 6 all stars. Even though he had a Water Terra, Garganaco. So he expected me to, to 6-0 him with a Water Terra, Garganaco. And the CM, Shadow Ball, Blissey as well. Um, I'll just go Dusk here. And I'll knock off on the Corv. Then I'll spin. I think this was Brave Bird, but I want to keep the Herbaloon and Goldengo, so I'll just Ice Spinner. Let him Brave Bird. Um, then I guess I'll. Let's see. 
Oh, no, gold tengo. I guess I go gold tengo. And he goes for Blissey. I'm gonna go for the Psycho Shock straight up. Um, I'm gonna go for another Psycho Shock. As he will go for probably the Water Terra here. Yep, there we go. Um, I just move last. The damage on this. I'll skill swap. I'll stun spore. Moon blast again. And uh, I wonder if this is a roll. We're gonna find out. It was a roll, and we got it. So it goes for Gurgan Ashi again. I'm gonna go again for the skill swap. Again, we're gonna stun spore. Uh, wait. Did I not skill swap? Wait. Oh yeah, I already have purifying. Yeah, yeah, I'm stupid. Uh, we go ogre pun. I'm just gonna go for the cut Joe and it crits. And he's gonna go like, oh, cool. this is on the first one. <laughs> I just knew it. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> uh, bro. I, at the moment that created, I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> oh no, the Razor Claw Ivy Cup Joe. And I know it's still 50%, bro, but it's it's like a fiery dance. Like you expect it to you expect your opponent to get it rather than not. Uh. <laughs> oh boy, that was funny. That was so funny. Um let's see. Uh, I'll go for the surf here. I'm gonna go for the surf first. Then I'm gonna sub on the mortal spin and I'm gonna agility up. I'm gonna surf again. Um, because I don't know. I guess like before, I could have just attacked and I guess I would have killed Valiant for it. I guess it was better to just tack. Because now he, he gets to bring Gambit in. Which of course is not like super super bad. Um look here I could go for the I'll go for the Dragon Pulse. I know he's gonna turn us into something weird. But if I sub he could just go for Ice Ghost Pure and So it's yeah, it's that. And or Scout Shot and that would have still killed me. Um I mean, I could go here straight up for the pawn, but instead I'll go for... I mean, does he potentially kill me on, on one? Yes, yeah, so I'll just go to Tusk. I mean, I should leave this, right? Do I need to Terra here? That's the question. I potentially could, I guess. Um, I guess I'll just rapid spin. I mean, it's tough. You have 299 defense. You surely don't get killed by a raw icicle spear. That's I, I, I don't even know. Okay, no, we should live. We should live. Yep, we do live. We do not. We do die now. We do die now. But um, but um, I mean, there was still uh, let's see. Um, I guess I my better off play is just to go for this. Yep, even at a, we're still faster, so that's fine. Maybe I should have gone for that instead of second task. <laughs> Maybe I should have I should have started with this part. He now gets to go Volcarana, but he doesn't have a Terra anymore, so that's good for Moth, I guess. We still have Goldengo for the Valiant. 
And I guess Ogre Pony can probably deal with both King Gambit and the uh, Tusk here. So I would say we should be fine. That's what I want to say, that we should be fine. But we'll see, because it's also going to depend on how many uh, boosts I get on with uh, Iron Moth. That we will have the special attack boost as well. So that should be fine. If he brings Gambit in, that's great for me as well. Um... Let's see. I guess I can toss was not the worst of places. I still have the moth now at full HP and uh, Rebombi. Um, still has its sash intact. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Ogre Pony could, could. Okay, so he brings the Ogre on as expected. We go for the Moth. Um, if he's not going to go for the Fairy, I'm just going to straight up go for the Slot Wave as he potentially goes Valiant uh, to maximize. But we doesn't. Goes for that. Goes for the Chip this time around. Um, You know what? If that's how you want to play it, let's go for it. Uh, that's not work. Does not work. Unfortunately, it does not work. Let's go for the fiery dance. Um, it goes for the valiant. Uh, I guess we'll just go for the um. Go. Oh, so you're that set. Um. I mean, I guess I'll just go Rebombi. And I'll Moonblast. Good go, King Gambit. I'm worried here that this King Gambit potentially, um, potentially one hit KOs the, uh, the, um, the ogre pun on one hit as okay 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 that could have been bad if i stick with that probably was encore um yep there we go we get the gambit Okay, I'm gonna Moonblast here. Oh, so he does not attack. Okay. Okay, in that case, that's great for me. Um, I'll just superpower. And I could even... Uh, I'll superpower. I can even... Um, then go straight for the raw crit. And I think we're gonna go for that. Because he can then go for... Um, or like uh yeah we will kill with um yeah bro look at that 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 that's uh yeah we're still faster we're gonna go for the raw raw crit raw crit come on ogre pond you got this the raw crit uh we don't get it but that's good enough this will kill this my rain will kill anyways as yeah there we go Ooh. again the nice from the ogre pond we outspeed the curem we um Get the kill and garbage survives that that survives that bro that that that's uh, that's that can be the scary 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 attack. Um let's see. I think we can do one more. One more, one more. We've only taken a loss so far. Let's see if we can get into the 1700s. Um now that I look at the background picture here on the video, it does not look as, mu as much as I would have liked, even on the, my own background. Uh, let's see. Uh, this. Oh, this is. I was going to say this Iron Crown, but that's Cobalion, bro. That, I just bring in those sticky webs here. We bring the sticky webs down. I'm guessing he's going to have a few. Uh, a few heavy duty boots on his own because otherwise 
because it doesn't have any sort of um asset control uh stun spore ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. and i guess i'll we'll just go for the chip because anyways um i'll sub here because yeah, anyways uh it's just, like whatever i bring in it's just gonna go out it's not, not like i'm gonna set it up on its face right now now we need to get rid of dirge definitely if we want uh our uh oh my god that's it read me okay so he just gives out the dirge that's fine i guess because uh, behind the sub i would have uh, just completely folded him that's fine um go for the for that um i'm just gonna cut you i don't think I, you should not go for soccer punch here because um okay so he goes for this um this is potentially Volt Switch. Uncle Tusk, it's Body Press. Um, I mean, that did a lot for Body Press, I guess. I'll go for the Spinner again. Do some nice damage. Um. I guess we trade here. Um, I think Karamov should sweep at this point, but I'll go for the um, Ogre Pond. And I'll focus energy this time around. Hopefully he... Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I think this is the sweep. I think we get it. I think we get it. I think we get it. We are not faster, so I'm gonna have to Terra here. Would have not liked to have, uh, would have preferred not to Terra here, but there it is. And with this, our um, crits, you know, are assured. Even if he is still Terra, that's gonna do a lot of damage. And Aramov just comes in and uh, fire dances once and slash waves. Okay. Maybe I should have gone for the. Uh, I, know, I needed to force the Terra anyways, because then Orca Pony could have been an issue. Sludge Wave and we win, and we get into the 1700s. What a nice bid, bro. Uh, I, I don't know, I think, I think... We got the thumbnail text, we got the salty people, the salty style players, bro. Like, we killed two style teams here, uh, destroyed them. With the Ogre Pun, I mean, I think this is a beautiful video, I'm gonna stop it right there. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed the request. Remember, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and make your own request in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. See ya.